I'm super delighted to introduce Professor Cynthia Barnhart. Cindy is MIT's provost and the Abraham Siegel Professor of Management Science, Professor of Operations uh, Research here at MIT. Uh, Dr. Barnhart has a distinguished career, serving many leadership roles, including most recently as MIT's chancellor for seven years, and previously as the associate and acting dean for the School of Engineering. Um, she's been on the faculty at MIT since 1992. Now, that's impressive, but the best part about Cindy is that she shares our passion for mobility. She earned a master's and PhD from MIT in transportation systems and optimization, and her teaching and research are in the areas of large-scale optimization and analytics to focus on applications in transportation and logistics systems. Cindy, over to you, please. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be here. Uh, so I thought I'd take just a few minutes, because uh, I thought one of the questions maybe on your mind is, hey, how does MIT think about mobility? Is it a priority? Does the MIT administration believe in and support and back the mobility initiative? So you just heard about my background, so you probably have a sense of where I'm going with this. Um, but I thought I would just reflect a little bit on what we do here at MIT. Um, so as you heard, I did my master's and my PhD here in transportation systems. And as I was thinking about this, I thought, you know, why did I come to MIT? And the answer is obvious to me. I came here because MIT didn't think about transportation and mobility and logistics in an atomistic way. MIT thought about it as a system. And that system of approach relied on people with lots of different areas of expertise to come together to think about how their areas like urban planning, economics, engineering, operations research, computer science, et cetera, could contribute to the design, the operation, the engineering, the informing and development of policies associated with mobility, how all those pieces could fit together to address what turns out to be a multifaceted faceted objective. So John, much of what he was saying is really well aligned with my experiences here at MIT and our approach. You know, I think the fact that when we think about how we address the mobility challenge, we don't think about it as confined by disciplines or departmental boundaries. The structure of transportation at MIT is what was unique, but now has been copied by many academic programs. And by unique, I mean it, the degree was not offered by a department. It was offered by an interdisciplinary program. Uh, and so what that meant is that we built a program here that drew from the entire institute. So just to give you an example, I was, I've been around, as you heard, for a while at MIT. Um, and w one of the things we did was we founded the Global Airline Industry Program. Uh, as I, I worked on founding the Singapore MIT Future Urban Mobility Program. And I was the founding director of transportation at MIT Initiative, which now has been taken to this um, higher level thanks to the great leadership of Jen Ma. Um, but what was interesting to me in all of the um, efforts to establish these activities is we would begin by putting out an email to the community saying, hey, we're thinking about doing this. Um, who's interested in working with us on urban mobility? And we set up times for people to come and brainstorm. And even after being here a decade or two or three, those meetings would blow me away because 
I didn't know a lot of the people in the room. So what was amazing about MIT is that there's this passion to address hard problems, and it's all across the institute, and always bringing in new people or young people. Um, and so we have a very dynamic team approach to solving problems. So, you know, I just think that the point John made about partnership and the strategy of partnering across MIT is part of what we do, but also partnering with industry and government is really critical to being able to move the needle. Um, so one thing I, I um, wanted, to, I was reflecting on, the problem, the problem with asking the provost to come and talk it, when it's this, the subject that the provost, provost is passionate about is, you get me for more than the two minutes I'm alive. <laughs> uh, but I was thinking about my own career and how I think it mirrors what's been happening in the, in the field and in our approach to problem solving. When I first started out, you know, I, I worked a lot on airline optimization. I'm sure all of you who flew here see that I, that I with my colleagues solved that problem. <laughs> okay, so maybe not. But, but when, when I first started out working on the problem, I focused mostly on algorithms. How do we use the computing power we have to address these really big, complex, intractable problems? And then as time went on, I realized that, well, you know, maybe we're not actually solving the correct problem. So we have to broaden our perspectives. It's not just about profitability of the airlines. Uh, we need to take into account the passenger perspective, and we need to capture in our models this whole idea that systems are really dynamic and stochastic and lots of things happen that you don't plan for. So you need a robustness in your, in your operational plans. And then you know, we built out new models, figured out how to solve them, sort of, and then we thought, well, we can include environmental impacts. We need to do that. And then we thought, you know, we have to pull in not just the airlines, but also the FAA, for example, in the US. And how, how do we manage this, these constrained resources like airspace and airport capacity? And then that brought, well, maybe our policies aren't aligned with optimizing the system. And so, you know, I think as as an engineer, the beauty of working on transportation is that it is just so much more than that, and it allows you to interact with and learn the perspectives of so many different disciplines that can um, bear on solving these problems. You know, and I just, like, just looking around the room, I see Kathy Wu, whose expertise is in, um, Algorithm uh, in AI and machine learning and transportation and Sanjay Sarma, who you're going to hear from, he okay, he's a mechanical engineer, but the, the things that Sanjay has done to impact transportation, logistics, and mobility is amazing, and it, it's through interactions with these different areas of expertise that I have just found it. Uh, it's just such an exciting area to work in. So I'm, I'm going to finally answer the question I began with, and that is yes. The MIT administration, well, we're not only excited about and supportive of the MIT Mobility Initiative, we are counting on it. And I really wish I could spend the day. Unfortunately, I can't. I hope you really enjoy your day, and I look forward to hearing about your discussions.